I welcome you to this session of ISO 9001-2015 and today we are going to talk about clause number 7.5.2. It is uh, for documented information and the clause, uh, the title of this sub clause is 7.5.2, creating and updating. So as usual, first of all, I'll read out the requirement to you as given in the standard. Clause number 7.5.2, creating and updating. When creating and updating documented information, the organization shall ensure appropriate A, B, C, there are three points in this, appropriate identification and description. Uh, bracket, for example, a title, date, author, or reference number. B. Format, for example, language, software version, graphics, and media, for example, paper, electronic. And C. Review and approval for suitability and adequacy. So these are the three things which have to be ensured. Uh, while creating and updating the documented system or the documentation or rather the documented information. Now as I told you earlier, documented information may mean the system documentation that is procedures or work instructions or manuals or anything contained in the manuals or the records which are maintained in compliance to our whatever we are carrying out, whatever we are doing. So we have to maintain records of what, what has happened during the operations. So when creating, let us discuss it in more detail now. When creating and updating document information, the organization or the company shall ensure, it will make sure that the following conditions are fulfilled. A, identification and description. That means there is proper identification of the documentation which is being prepared. If it's a record, then we give, a, give it a record number and proper title, date, and uh, who has prepared it, who has approved it. And if it is a procedure or a work instruction or anything system-related documentation, then we give it a suitable number, and the name of the person who prepares it comes there. And also the person who has approved the documentation, his name is also there, his name and title. So, this is the first thing which has to be fulfilled in creating and updating the documentation. That means identification and description of the document, including the title, date, who has written it, who is the author, and reference number. Now we come to B. The format. What is the format of the record? For example, what is the language in which it is written, what is the software version or graphics and media, whether it is a, a paper document or electronic document. So we have to be clear and we have to mention it very clearly as to what is the format of the documentation, documentation which is being created and updated by us. And C is review and approval for suitability and adequacy. Any documentation that we create, whether it is pertaining to the system documentation or records, the document has got to be reviewed and it has to be approved by the appropriate approving authority. So the review and approval for suitability and adequacy is a, is a precondition for creating a record or a documentation. So this has got to be fulfilled also. 
so that's all uh, this, this was the third condition that when creating and updating document information the organization shall ensure appropriate a b c we have discussed all the three a was identification and description b was the format and c was the review and approval of the documentation for adequacy suitability and adequacy i hope you have this is a small clause i hope you have understood the clause fully well and if there is any doubt in your minds please give your comment below this video itself and i'll try to explain to you again so that things become clear to you and there is nothing which is not clear to you and if you are liking my videos please give me a thumbs up give me a like and also share my videos with your friends and colleagues and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel on, and also press the bell icon so that as and when i load my video the information regarding loading the video will reach you without any delay you will be able to see my videos immediately so thank you very much for watching my videos and we meet again on next sunday and we shall be talking about uh, the next clause which is control of documented information 7.5.3 so bye bye and see you on next sunday thank you